Okay, welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now, this is a very, very quick video. Now, if you look back um, a couple of videos, you'll see that I did a picture of the International Space Station as it went over. Now, it was quite a wide picture, actually, uh, taken in the, um, the landscape um, near where I live, because we're still under a lockdown and I'm not really allowed to go outside my own garden. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do something a little bit different. So we're expecting the ISS to go over any minute now. And instead of doing a wide photograph, what I want to do is that see if I can actually get some detail in the ISS itself. And I'm going to use this lens to try and do it. This is my 300mm f4 lens. Uh, it's about 350 quid on eBay, second hand. Not terribly expensive but really for what it is it's a brilliant brilliant lens it's a prime lens um, not really that long as well either for doing what I'm going to do as well but um, I'm using a d850 camera which has got 46 megapixels so um, it hopefully that will give me a little bit more reach and let's see if we can get actual detail on the International Space Station itself now you might think that um, you need to use um, a long exposure or something like that. Well, you don't actually. I've taken pictures of it before in the past. I've used a telescope. I've used a much longer lens than that. So it's just a case of experimenting really and taking lots of different pictures, lots of lots of shots, just to make sure you get one right. Um, generally, I would say the exposure you want to be using is something about a thousandth of a second. Um, say f5.6 something like that iso 200 experiment really that's what it's all about um it's, it's a bright object so you don't need to use a long exposure um the longer the focal length the more difficult you're going to have to keep it in the frame that's the thing you see I, I shouldn't struggle too much with this one but it might jump around a little bit you might need to put your camera on a tripod with a ball mount just to stabilize it a little bit i'm going to be shooting this handheld so um Let's wait for the ISS to come across and let's see if we can get a decent picture of the actual structure of the ISS itself. Okay, look at this uh, beautiful sky we've got out here, look. Um, we've got the crescent moon up there, lovely waxing crescent moon, and above that we've got Venus. Now what I've done is I've taken a test shot of Venus just to give us some kind of idea of what kind of exposure I'll need to do the ISS. Now Venus is much brighter than the ISS, so I'm trying to gauge by getting a photograph of Venus and looking at it and trying to think how much would I need to be able to capture some kind of detail in the ISS because I wouldn't want to overblow it, you see. I wouldn't want to blow the, the detail in it because, like I say, it's, a, it's quite a bright object. Not quite as bright as Venus, but you can overdo it, so I don't really want to overdo it. So... Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for it to come over now. It should come over some way down here. Now, it might take us a while to find it, but uh, it won't be too long. And what I'll do is I'll film the first little bit of it as it comes over, and then I'll go and grab my telephoto lens and see. It's coming now. I can see it. There it is. Can you see it? It's there. Let's get this, let's get this straight. Here we are. That's the ISS. There it is. Look at that. Wow, it's coming, it's coming now. Now, what I want to do is I want to wait for it to get um, fairly high up, and then I'm going to get the um, the telephoto lens out and uh, zoom right in on it. So I'll just leave this camera filming here now, and you'll be able to see it go up and over over here I'm just going to stop this now I'll leave it recording I'm going to plug, unplug the sound all right okay so there it goes there it goes so I managed to get a few pictures of it I think it's disappeared now. It's actually disappeared into the shadow of the earth. Right over there. Right, okay, now 
time to have a look and see if I got anything with my pictures. Right, okay, so I fired off quite a few frames there. Um, using slightly different shutter speeds at times, but generally I was using something like 1600 to 1 two thousandths of a second. And I had a quick look at some of the pictures and it looks like I've got some kind of detail on some of them, but we'll have to take a closer look uh, in, in a few seconds. Um, if I didn't happen to get anything, what I'll do is I'll show you some of my um, pictures that I've taken in the past few years of the ISS close up. I'm fairly confident I got something and um, it just goes to show that if you've got um, a telephoto lens, if, if you've got something like say a, you might have one of those Sigma um, 150 to 600s, quite a few other people have got those. Something like one of those will be very good, we would get even closer than what, what I did. So uh, okay, so let's take a look at the pictures now and see what I got. <laughs> 